All right, folks, so it was the front page story of the Sunday Gleaner. Elderly fleeced called for special laws to shield vulnerable as families, caregivers, plunder the aged. Wow. So we asked two persons quoted in that story to bring the discussion to our set from the Caribbean Community of Retired Persons, founder and executive chair, Jean Laura Chin, and board director and voluntary legal counsel, Ambassador Alun Dombit Asamba. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome Good to morning. Smile Jamaica. Thank you. Founder. Good to see you. Thank um, you. This is Laura Chin. Quickly, yeah. what's the role of uh, uh, your group? Well, we are here to help to empower our seniors to advocate that they are respected and to ensure that they continue to play a role in our national development. Okay, so yes. I'm retired and I don't have anything to do. What do I do? Well, Actually, you don't even have to be retired. You just have to be over 50. Over 50. That's elderly. I mean, really. That's when no, you we don't elderly. say well, elderly. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are advocating for yes. the protection of the elderly. Yeah. But our organization is open to persons over 50. But how do I get involved and what? I call you and say, boy, I'm at home. I don't have anything to do. What you, what, what, Actually, what's we have people who send in their resumes who have retired. And we've been able to place them in part-time jobs. Okay. Because remember, we have brilliant, well-experienced mm -hmm. retired people mm -hmm. with high ethics. So even since the beginning of this year, we have placed accountants, we have placed human resource consultants in organizations. Okay. And um, of course, every month we have an activity for wellness and lifestyle. So we advise our members on estate planning, mm -hmm. on okay. wellness, yeah. We yeah. have yoga sessions. Yeah. We, we really ensure mm -hmm. that they are on point, yeah. yes. Ambassador, Great. explain what, what I just said at, at the top. What do you mean by um, being fleeced? What does all that mean? You know, we have a lot of um, elderly persons who have worked for a long time. And the one thing that I know about elderly people is that they have been saving. You know, mm -hmm. savings is one of the things that we're trying to encourage as a society. And they have some money. Some of them are getting... Um, retirement benefits. Some of them have actually saved something. Many of them own houses um, and have other sources of income, mm -hmm. not as much as they were working, um, surely. But what has been happening is that many persons, families, caregivers, and others have really been taking advantage of them. Mm. Because sometimes, you know, they put somebody's name on their bank account, for example, because it is easier to have someone go and do their business. People will go and collect their pension. And sometimes it doesn't ever get to them. Mm. And sometimes when, I mean, we have had the situation where people have come to us and say, we are having this problem. And when we investigated, the money that they thought they had in the bank, for example, not is not there. And the thing is, there's nothing that the bank can do because if they have put somebody on their account and that person is authorized to, to Make withdraw, withdraw or, any or any transaction, mm -hmm. then the bank will just follow because those instructions because it's legal. The challenge that we have is that, you know, there are, if you search in various different laws, you will find little snippets that will allow you to take action mm -hmm. if somebody is being abused, um, whether emotionally, physically, financially, or otherwise. But we don't have any one, act. Um, yes, one act ombudsman. Umb yeah. Ombud what is ombudsman. the word? <laughs> no, it's not ombudsman oh. I'm looking for. One. Omnibus. Oh. Omnibus, oh. Act. Oh. Omnibus Act, act. Yes. that so. puts together uh -huh. how you can protect our elderly. Now, the thing is that there, we, we have done the research. Yes. And um, <coughs> Gloria, Langren. Gloria, Mrs. Gloria Langren, yes. who is an attorney at law, and she was the former registrar of titles. So, you know, CCRP, these persons are part of the organization. Voluntary. And they volunteer. Mm -hmm. and, and um, Peter Mays, who yes. is also a retired attorney at law, together we wrote to the Minister of Labor and Social Security mm -hmm. explaining our concern. Mm -hmm. And we discovered that the ministry had actually begun to do some work yes. in that area. So mm -hmm. what, are the, what, are, what would that special law look like? To protect. Do you know the you, you 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 are involved in children, yes. and you know that there 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 is a specific law mm -hmm. that deals with the child protection, care protection and protection and child care act. and protection so, act. So we are advocating to have yeah. such an act ah, to Lord, cover the elderly. Yeah, Mrs. Ah, Lorchin, okay. how widespread is this? I mean, mm. it, it happens. Well, but, uh, I just on Monday after this article came out, 
Jamaicans for Justice called me and said, you would be surprised at how many calls they have been getting about elderly abuse. Mm -hmm. And the National Council for Senior Citizens, mm -hmm. they have a hotline. And they also say that this has become even a greater problem than before. I think, remember, you know, our population is aging. Yes. Mm -hmm. And with that, and people are living longer, and with that comes these challenges. So NCSC actually has set up a, a hotline. So right now, if you know of a case of elderly abuse, you can call 1-888-SENIORS. Mm -hmm. That's a number to remember, 1-888-SENIORS to report it. Or a senior can call it themselves. Right. Now, the Child Care and Protection Act has a provision that if you hear about child abuse, if you know about child abuse mm -hmm. and you don't report it, then you are liable. You're liable. That does not happen now. Uh -huh. For, the, for elderly. the elderly, and therefore we, that's why we would like to have a law legislation with teeth. So, with this, um, with this proposed new legislation or this act for seniors, well, we're only in the process we? of uh, we're only in the process of getting the research done okay. and and having the discussions mm. because we had a discussion with the officers from the Ministry of Labor and Social yeah. Security yes, yes. and shared with them the information that we have garnered so far. Mm -hmm. the, the, we, we, Mrs. Langwin did the research and found that in Australia and in Canada, who are two... Northern um, Ireland. Uh, Northern and Ireland India. and India, not Canada, India, right. that there is such a piece of legislation. Mm. So we wouldn't really have to be reinventing the wheel. We could just look at the legislation that already exists in mm -hmm. other Commonwealth countries mm -hmm. and see how we can tweak that for Jamaica. But, but you know, the legislative process is long. Yeah, but yes. Ambassador, yeah. Um, and by your own uh, admission earlier, some of these elderly people mm -hmm. um, probably not going to remember everything. And well, as you said, and as you said, you get the legal right to go collect money. Isn't this going to be hard to prove, you know, that, you know people doing things we, like that? We know? have to get the community involved. It, it is part, in the same way that we're asking for the community to become involved in protecting our children, yes. we have to get the community involved in protecting the elderly. Mm -hmm. This is good what, what you're doing, and I'm so glad we're having this interview because it takes advocacy yes. and it takes a voice for the people. And Absolutely. that's what you and that's what we do. are doing yes, right now. Yes. Right. Um, and, and I love what you said as well. There's a, a wealth bank of knowledge yes. Absolutely. For, with, these, with retired people who we could come to you. Um, and, and get their, access yes. them and give them an opportunity to do good work in the country. Continue to do Continue good work. Continue to do good work. Yes. Thank you for that. Right. One triple eight. Seniors. Right? Seniors. Uh, yes. S-E-N-I-O-R-S. -E right. Is that to report yes. any kind of elder uh, abuse? Any kind of elder abuse. And that takes them to the National Council for Senior Citizens. Also doing a great job. Mm. And I just say that I have to congratulate Minister Shahina Robinson mm -hmm. on her revision to the Green Paper to the policy mm -hmm. and to say that she will be launching our Northeast Jamaica chapter mm -hmm. on Friday okay. at the St. Anne Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. uh, so CCRP is growing. We have regional offices now. Mm -hmm. And most of the work is done by volunteers. Okay. So thank I want to that. just say one thing about yes. the launch of the Northeast chapter. You know, there are many Jamaicans who have returned to Jamaica and who live across the, that right along that coast. And I, I know many of them because my aunt is one and I want to just reach out to them and say, CCRP is coming to the northeast of Jamaica. The office is going to be at the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. um, it is in Pineapple Place. Right. And they can come out at 10.30. I know they're always looking for places to go. Mm -hmm. And they can come out at 10.30 to the launch of this mm -hmm. okay. event. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for your work. <laughs> From the Caribbean Community of Retired Persons founder and executive chair, Jean Laurie Chin, and board director and voluntary legal counsel, and our good friend, Ambassador Alun and Dombit Asamba.